This is the competition here for Jewels and Triumphs. So you're going to put it in a really high ponytail. And you're going to have your bow facing forward. Get it up as high as you can. Make sure you use a brush to make it. So we got Jada's hair all the way up to the high ponytail, but we had some extra extra flyaways down here. So we are going to bobby pin those up. You're going to take them one chunk at a time and twist them. You're going to pin each chunk twice, one at the bottom and one towards the top. That way it just really stays in there. I'm going to put a couple extra bobby pins in the back here just to make sure all her small hair stay up. So you want to make sure their hair is off their neck. I'm going to spray it really well. If she was really competing today, I'd spray it a lot more. Then you want your ponytail high enough that you can see your hair from the front of your head. And then after you've put in the regular ponytail, you're going to take the bow, plop it on your head facing forward, and then pull your ponytail through it. And then you're going to wrap the bow around your ponytail as many times as you need to to make it tight. You're going to keep the bow facing forward the whole time. Once the bow is on, you're going to take a bobby pin, bobby pin it right here so that it doesn't come too far forward on their face. right here on this side. And then Jada's hair stands up pretty well, but if you can't see your hair, you're just going to take it, tease it a little bit, and hairspray it so you can see it from the front. Just going to hairspray the pony, just lightly tease it so it stands up. Push it up and spray the ponytail so it stays up. And that is Triumph and Jewel's competition hair. Make sure before you start all this, you straighten your hair.